Don't let your short-term self hijack your long-term self. It's Cyber Monday and the FOMO vibes are strong today. And yes, there are some great deals out there you can take advantage of. Quick aside, you can check out selfemploymentsidekick.com for a rundown of some of my favorite Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals for small businesses and freelancers. And yes, there will be many other opportunities that pop up in our lives that we have a very small window of time to act on. And I'm not just talking about flash sales on vacuum cleaners. It could be a job, it could be a connection with an important contact, it could be an adorable puppy looking for a new home. Or any of the hundreds of Mega Mondo one day only sales you'll see in your feed today. Some of these opportunities may be legitimately beneficial, but most of them are distractions at best and complete life derailments at worst. We are constantly faced with so much stimulation and we have to make hundreds if not thousands of decisions, big and small, all the time, every day. Advertisers and tech companies have mastered the art of capturing our attention and forcing us into perceived gun to the head decisions. Even if you're a small business owner or a marketer or entrepreneur yourself and you play some of these same games, you're no less susceptible to these tactics than anybody else. In fact, you might be at a higher risk for falling prey to some of these high pressure, short term decision situations because we are so opportunity oriented. I caution you and encourage you to stay focused. More importantly, have something to focus on in the first place. Cast a vision for your life, set long-term goals, pick a point on the horizon to steer towards, and then filter all of these short-term decisions through a long-term lens. Will saying yes to this decision over here ultimately take me closer to where I wanna be? or will it steer me off course? I'm not saying there isn't any room to be impulsive every once in a while. Have fun, enjoy your life, and sometimes that means being flexible, go with the flow, maybe get off this exit so we can go see the world's largest ball of twine. You don't need to do a deep financial analysis every time you buy a new pair of socks or decide to go on an impromptu ice cream run with the kids. But remember to check in with your long-term self on a regular basis to make sure that you're still on track. Now get ready. After you watch this video, you're gonna get slammed with more stimulation and ads for deals of the lifetime. Heck, I might even be throwing some of these advertisements your way myself. And there's nothing wrong with jumping on a Cyber Monday sale. Saving money on a vacuum cleaner is a wonderful thing. Just don't lose sight of your primary goals. Make sure you're doing what you need to do to keep your house in order. Otherwise, you might find yourself holding a beautiful new vacuum cleaner with no floors to clean. Just a little encouragement for you today. I hope you're doing well. And if there's anything I can do to help you move ahead on your self-employment journey, reach out to me at selfemploymentsidekick.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.